Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncey. I'm back at it with another word on today. The Lord is really, really speaking. Um, in specific, this word is for kingdom marriage. Again, um, I did a video on this a couple days ago or maybe yesterday um, from Romans chapter 15. And the Lord is still speaking in regards to this passage. So here we have Paul who is expressing um, his excitement and his, um, you know, expectation, um, of seeing, you know, his brothers and sisters in Christ again. And so he's just expressing how he is longing to visit them, longing to see them. And so just real quick, we're going to go with, uh, verses 29 through 32 from Romans chapter 15. And it reads, and I am sure that when I come, Christ will richly bless our time together. Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to join in my struggle by praying to God for me. Do this because of your love for me given to you by the Holy Spirit. Pray that I will be rescued from those in Judea who refuse to obey God. Pray also that the believers there will be willing to accept the donation I am taking to Jerusalem. Verse 32, then by the will of God, I will be able to come to you with a joyful heart and we will be an encouragement to each other. Real quick, I want to break this down. Verse 29 said, and I am sure that when I come, Christ will richly bless our time together. When you come together, when you and your kingdom spouse come together, your time is going to be blessed together. Like when you meet in that moment, I don't care if it's, you know, in the park, I don't care if it's over dinner, I don't care if it's at church, like you will feel the tangible presence of God with you because it's not you two just bringing yourselves together. It's Christ Jesus. It's God, our father that is bringing you together and you'll literally feel the presence of God with you. Verse 30 says, dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to join in my struggle by praying to God for me. Do this because of your love for me given to you by the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is saying, join in your spouse's join in their struggle by praying to God for them. Pray for their their peace of mind. Pray for God to give them strength and courage to make the decisions that um, the Holy Spirit is leading them to make. Pray for their comfort because we we alone know that the the instructions that God has given us, it's not always easy. It takes a lot of faith, okay? And so just as you're asking God to strengthen you to move and step out in obedience, you need to pray your spouse's strength as well, okay? So pray over, you know, the decisions that they, they have to make. Pray over God to cover them from, you know, danger seen and unseen, you know, um, just counterfeits because the enemy is going to come at every angle to try to stop this union from uniting. But we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that which the Lord has spoken must come to pass and it is coming to pass now. Um, and so verse number 31, we're going to go over to this and I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to verse number 30, the latter portion of that. After um, you join in their struggle by praying to God for them, it says you are to do this. You are to pray for your spouse just because of your love for them and your love for, for them is not, it doesn't stem from, um, a natural kind of love. It's literally a supernatural thing. Like God has placed them in your spirit. God has, oh, my shit. Come on here. Holy spirit. You cutting up today. God has literally placed them in your spirit. You are connected with them through heaven. You are connected to them through heaven. This is a heaven, honey. This union that God is bringing together is something that has never been formed in your bloodline before. And this is why you both have been attacked so heavily because you're generational curse breakers. Your union will literally shatter the enemy's camp. Your union is a uh, honey. It's about to do damage in the earth for the glory of God, for the building of the kingdom of God. Okay. So your union, you, this love that you have for them, is not something that you've built on your own. It's, it's just supernaturally implanted in you from the Holy spirit, from God, our father. So because this love and this yearning and this desire, you know, to be with them has been planted in you from God. Again, always take this word back 
to the Lord for him to give you discernment and clarity in regards to this, because everyone that you yearn for is not your kingdom spouse and kingdom marriage is not for everyone. If this is something that God himself has ordained. So you need to be very clear and get clarity in regards to who God has assigned to you, who God has ordained to you, not who you have ordained to yourself. And so be um, just just always take this word back to the Lord. And so you are praying for them because of your love for them, because of your love to to uh, see them grow, to, to see them prosper, to see them walk in watch. Excuse me, to see them walk in um, boldness with the father to, to know who they are in God. It's not you just simply praying for them because you want them. No, it's you praying for them because you want them to excel in their relationship with God. You care about where they spend eternity, eternity at. You care about their salvation. You care about their mental, their mental peace. This is why you're praying for them, not in a selfish form, but you're praying for them in a selfless, in a selfless way. Okay, in verse number 31, it says, pray that I will be rescued from those in Judea who refuse to obey God. Pray also that the believers there will be willing to accept the donation I am taking to Jerusalem. So you're also praying for them to be rescued from persecution. Now keep in mind that there are times where God will allow us, he will allow us to remain in persecution just because he sees that it's building our characteristics and it's building us up in him. It's building up our faith. But there are also times where it's simply just an attack of the enemy and we need to pray and intercede on behalf of those people in in this case on behalf of our spouse. So intercede on behalf of your spouse in regards to um, the enemy's attacks on their mind, on their body, even physically on their body and just cover them in prayer. In verse number 32, it says, then by the will of God, I will be able to come to you with a joyful heart. They will be able to come to you with a joyful heart because they will literally feel your prayers. They will feel and God will even reveal you to them. God will reveal you to them. God will reveal you to your kingdom spouse. Okay, they will know that it it was it was you that prayed them through. Okay, you don't have to say, "Oh, I prayed." No, you no no. You don't have to do all that. Let's not be prideful. God will reveal to them, you know, who was interceding on their behalf. Okay, and so then by the will of God, I will be able to come to you with a joyful heart, and we will be an encouragement. God spoke this thing so clear to me this morning. You are better together. The latter portion of verse, excuse me, verse number 32, it says, and we will be an encouragement to each other. Child, when you come together, this is not about, this is not, this union is not just about intimacy. It's not about just getting married so you can have sex. Let's get that out of the way. That is not the, yes, that's a benefit of this kingdom marriage, but that's not what this marriage is solely built on. This marriage is built on the foundation uh, and the word of God. It's literally built on God. And so when you come together, you're coming together to help build one another up, to, to cover one another in prayer, to help inspire and empower and motivate each other, okay? You're going to pour into to him and he's going to pour into you. You're going to pour into her and she's going to pour into you. This union is here as I'm telling you, it's a force to be reckoned with. Like you two are powerful on your own, but when Christ, when God brings you together, child, child like (laughs) child like and you can tell that that this union is just it's untouchable because of the amount of warfare that has been coming up against you and your kingdom spouse you can always tell when god is about to do something big because the warfare is crazy and that's just evidence that what god is about to do is even crazier Like, come on here. So be encouraged. Continue to pray for your spouse. Intercede on behalf of them. And know that when you come together, you will literally feel that you will feel the presence in the tangible um, hand of God on your life. And you will come together to encourage and empower and inspire one another. Stay ready.